We've all heard those crazy stories of women not knowing they're pregnant until they go into labor. We've all wondered, how is that even possible? I'm here to tell you that I am one of those people. I didn't know I was pregnant until I had a baby. I'm 21 years old. And don't ask me how I didn't notice, but I didn't. When it comes to my period, it had always been all over the place. Sometimes I skipped it for a couple of months, or sometimes I seem to be getting it twice a month. The moral of the story is, I was never a regular menstruator. That's the first question most people ask. You didn't notice you were missing your period for nine months? The truthful answer is, I just didn't think about it. My boyfriend was in law school, so he was busy. We made a good team. Both of us being busy was good, as we both understood when commitments meant cancellations or going a week or more without seeing each other. Morning, I woke up lying in a wet spot. I was horrified to see that it looked like I had had an accident while I was sleeping. The couch was wet, and now I was concerned. I still didn't think pregnancy. I was more worried about MS and disorders like those where losing bladder control was a pretty common symptom. I phoned and made an appointment with my doctor for later the following day. I tried to get in that day, but there were no suitable appointment times available. That night, my life changed forever. I had dragged myself to work yet but again, not understanding my exhaustion, stomach pains, and backache. Oh well, I thought, you can hang on till tomorrow. After you see your doctor, you'll likely know what's wrong. After I got home from the evening, I ran myself a hot bath. When I was standing up in the tub while the water drained and was toweling myself off, I caught sight of myself in the mirror. What I saw shocked me to my core. I had some kind of bloody mixture oozing down the insides of my thighs. I instantly felt super faint and nauseous. I felt everything going dark around me and got down on the floor. I had fainted enough times in my life to know that when that feeling hit, the best thing you could do was get as close to the floor as possible. I laid down on the cold tile floor of the bathroom until the fainting feeling passed. I stumbled to where I had left my phone and phoned my boyfriend. I told him something was wrong and that he needed to come over. Luckily, he lived close, so was over within 10 minutes. When he came in, he took one look at me and said, You look awful. I said, thanks a lot. We still didn't think anything major was amiss, so he helped me into bed and got me some water. In the time he was gone getting me water, I started to get awful stomach cramps. It was like my insides would tighten up to the point I felt like I was going to burst, and then they would subside. The pain started to come on faster and more intense. When I found myself gripping my partner's hand until one of the pains subsided, I suddenly started to recall all the labor scenes I had watched over the years in TV shows and movies, where the woman would practically break her partner's hand, squeezing it so hard. Before I knew it, there was a massive feeling of pressure in my uterus, and then it was like my body took over. I instinctively rolled over onto my back and spread my legs. In a totally freaked out tone, my boyfriend said, whoa, wait a minute, what do you think you're doing? I couldn't believe what I was saying. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I'm having a baby. Justin called 911 right as my first push ended. One more push, two more pushes, something was coming out. A few more pushes later, and out slid a tiny baby. The baby was small and looked premature. As Justin was holding the baby in his arms and in a state of shock, the door burst open and three paramedics came in. They said, wow, looks like we missed the big show. They cut the umbilical cord, suctioned the baby's airway, cleaned him up and handed him to me. I stared at him wide-eyed and explained to the paramedics that until mere hours before, I didn't even know I was pregnant. One of the younger paramedics said, awesome, I've heard of cases where women didn't know they were pregnant, but they all seem super sketchy and you seem pretty normal. We all had a good laugh at that. 
Justin and I were unprepared, to say the least. We called our friends and family, who arrived in a dizzying blur of pictures, talking, laughing, shocked faces, and endless questions. So I'm a mother now, and didn't even know I wanted to be one. To watch more animated story videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And tell us in the comments section what you thought about this story.